Alrighty, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to play Kirby in the Forgotten Land in 60 FPS on the Yuzu emulator. Now, this method also works for the Ryujinx emulator also, so if you're wondering, can you do this with the Ryujinx emulator also? Yes. Alrighty, first things first. When you go to the em emulation tab, go to configure. When you go to graphics, you can go to events. Now, if you're using OpenGL and you're trying to go past 30 FPS, disable VSync. Basically, uncheck the box. It's very important for you guys to do that due to the fact that when you're using OpenGL and you're using VSync, when VSync is basically enabled, um, the game basically caps at 30 FPS. But if you're trying to go past, um, 30 FPS and you're using reading sync, just uncheck the box. After that, you press OK. Now, I believe you can also play games in 60 FPS with Vulcan also, but I believe you're gonna need the mod or there's an, uh, another way you can basically do, which I'm gonna showcase you in a sec, that you can basically uncap the frame rate. Now, I'm leaving the description down below to the 60 FPS mod. You guys can basically check this out. And how you set it up is basically you go to mod data location, drag and drop this, close this out, left click, go to properties, and then 60 FPS mod. Now this is basically the old school way. Most people basically usually do control U. So they basically um, press C T R L and you also press the um letter u on your keyboard and you press press at the same time while you're playing the game and it basically uncap the frame rate basically go past 30 fps but for you to basically get the best experience with that first you need to go to your nvidia control panel which i'm going to take a while to pop up real quick and then you go to manage 3d settings and then you go all the way down and make sure vsync is off which is vertical sync it just says the the full um, pronunciation of the meaning of vsync is vertical sync and then you go to program settings and you go down all the way down to vertical sync you press off again and you basically pick the settings you want i usually use my video uh, process so you can use the global settings if you prefer and after you do that you basically press add you're gonna add the user emulator as a selected program. You're gonna apply it. You wait a couple of seconds to apply it. And then you get off. Now, when you boot up the game, make sure when you're in game to also press these two buttons on your keyboard. C, T, R, L, and U at the same time and should your frame rate should basically uncapped past 30 FPS. So it's very important for you guys to do that and make sure V-Sync on both your NVIDIA control panel and the user emulator is off. If not, you can use the mod. It really doesn't matter. These are basically the two ways you can play Kirby and the Forgotten Land in 60 FPS on the user emulator. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.